Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Erica, and I would love for you to stick around. So today I thought I would do a full face with what I have from Glossier and kind of rank the products and talk about like other products that could possibly be dupes that I even like more. So if you're interested in seeing this Glossier get ready with me, then stay tuned. Okay, so first I have the Glossier Future Dew. Love this, this is a staple in my routine, in my everyday skincare routine even. I love this stuff. So it's kind of an iridescent pinky peach color. Um, it doesn't leave any type of color on the skin, but if you have dry skin, or like dry patches, because I have very combination skin, but because of like a very intense retin-A prescription, I have a lot of dry patches. This just glides over everything and helps it look so nice and natural. Plus, it gives you like a shine that's gonna last all day. Love it. It, it smells kind of medicinal, but I like that smell, so I like the scent. Also, if you're sensitive to scents, this does dissipate rather quickly, so it's not like you're gonna be smelling it and getting a headache. Next, the GlossierBomb.com. I have the scent Mango right now. Before that, I had their birthday cake, and so good. So yeah, this is great, but I mean, it's just a lip balm. Like, I like it, I feel like you get a lot, you only need a little bit, but I'll keep repurchasing, but it's not like something that you absolutely need. But if you're making a purchase, then yeah, why not? It's good. Okay, now, the Perfecting Skin Tint. I have the shade G9, and these are so sheer that, like, you can really stretch across, like, multiple shades. I think that even if you got one that you were unsure about, you could probably still make it work for you. Very liquidy. And they always just show people putting, like, lines on their face with this, but... I don't like that, so I'm just gonna put, this is also like super hard to squeeze out. So I think I just put like six or seven drops on my hand. Just gonna spread it around and then apply it to my face. Okay, so it really doesn't do anything. <laughs> if you are looking for coverage, any type of coverage, this product is not for you, but I think that it does a really nice job of just kind of adding an even layer of like a little bit of color to help with redness. I mean, you can build it up. Like here, I'll do like six more drops. Six. Okay. So you can build it up, but. Once again, like, I think it looks nice. But I really like sheer type of products, even though I have a lot of like discoloration from like acne scars and stuff, like I still like this a lot and I will keep repurchasing and I will keep using this. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, first I'm going to color correct my under eye circles because ugh, I can't not do it. It's just not fair because no concealer is going to make my under eyes look good without it. So, one sec. Next, their Stretch Concealer. I love this product. I think it's amazing. I absolutely adore it, and I will also keep repurchasing this. I'm in the shade G10, and excuse the little hairs and stuff in there. I cannot keep this thing clean, but G10 is my perfect shade match. So let me just apply that as well. Again, under eye circles, eyelids, and then um, wherever I have some redness and discoloration. Yeah, so this just gives you like good skin. Like, let me just zoom you in so you can see. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Nice and close. <laughs> okay, 
Come on, focus. Okay, so by no means is my skin perfected, but it just looks better and it looks natural and you can't see the, um, what's it called? The concealer like sitting on my face. It truly blends in. Like if you want, oh, what the hell is that? Okay. <laughs> if you want a really natural look, like I'm not wearing any makeup at all. This is the one. No one can tell. Just looks like you have amazing skin. Like sometimes, like, um, back when I was having a lot of acne, now I just have a lot of scars from it, but when I would not want to wear makeup, but I was feeling so self-conscious, especially around my chin, I would just dab a tiny bit of the stretch concealer there and then on my under eyes, and I'd be good to go. And I'd feel just so much more confident. It looked like I was wearing nothing, and it just toned down that reddish purple um, discoloration so much. So highly recommend this product. I think it's worth the price tag, and I will always repurchase this. For cheeks, I have two of the cloud paints. I love these. I have the shade Dusk and Storm. These are amazing. I will swatch them on the top of my hand. You only need a tiny amount of these to get like incredible color payoff and this lasts all day. So here, let me just blend these out. So there we have Dusk and then Storm. Like, those are so beautiful. And I've heard that like some people with really fair skin will actually use Dusk as um, like a bronzer, but it's a little too pinky peachy for me for that. So I'm actually going to just apply, I like to mix them together. This is the color of them together. Love the shade, love everything about it. So I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks. And just because we have some left over, we'll just do the forehead just a tiny bit. And the nose. Alright, so now that that is done, let's move on to. Well, I guess I should do my eyebrows. So I don't have the Glossier Brow Flick. I've had it though. And it's fine, but the dupe Ardell Stroke a Brow. This is amazing and it's like $9. Like, this is better. It's the same thing. Like, get this. So I'm just gonna fill in where I need it. So let me just zoom in a little bit. Hello. Okay. Let's see. I have a gap right here, so I'm just gonna fill that in. Like, amazing. And I have the same thing on the other side. And I have also used the Glossier Boy Brow. And again, I like it, but not for the price tag. And this is a dupe, the e.l.f. Wow Brow. It's like $4 or something. It's literally the exact same thing. Like, look at that. Focus. Um, but I think the wand's a teeny bit bigger. But yeah, I'm just gonna wipe off some. And this lasts so much longer. I feel like my boy brow dries out so quickly. So let's just do that. Like, done. That's the skin looking good. Um, now, oh yes, yeah, so out of their eye products, I only, oh wait, do I have, okay, so I have two of their eye products. I have their Lid Star and Cub. Yep, 
and their color slide in Pretty Penny. This is both of them. Here is Cub, swatched, and then let me just swatch Pretty Penny. So Cub, Pretty Penny. Both are really pretty. Um, I had other lid stars that I didn't really like. I kept Cub, Cub's one I do like. I haven't tried the Sky Washes, but I'm really not that interested in them. But here we go. I will just apply Cub really quick. Another thing I've realized when applying the lid stars, I put concealer on like my brow bone down to like my crease, but not on my lids because I noticed that these don't play nicely, at least on my lids with like concealer, powder, base, anything. They are better on bare lids. So let's just apply this. Well, And then you can just blend it out with your finger. Super quick, easy to apply. Then I have the color slide, so maybe I'll just take that on my lash line just to tie it together. Let's see, uh, oh my god, almost forgot. The Haloscope. I have it in the shade Quartz, and it looks like this. I love this. This is such a beautiful, like, healthy, sheeny glow. So what I like to do is take it on my like middle finger and just apply this to the high point. So my cheeks. Love this. And let's see. Oh, I do need to put on mascara, but I tried the lash lick. I mean, it's nice, but for $17 or $16, I don't think it's worth the price. Um, it's just a very natural, light definition lash look. Like a lot of the times, like it looks like you're not even, at least on me, it looks like I'm not even wearing mascara. So I will put on a very natural looking mascara and be right back. A product I have from them is the Wowder. This is actually the original version in light medium. It's the only powder I own, and that's saying something. I do not like powders at all. Um, so I do really like this. Typically, I will use it to set my eyelids and occasionally uh, my T-zone, which I guess I could do right now just to show. But it has like a little mesh. Love that. So here, we'll just like set my T-zone just to just to show how, how well it works. Okay. I mean, I think, I feel like I still look glowy, but not like oily, so wonderful. And then I have my Generation G's. I actually have all six of them and I love these. I will always be with these, always. But today I think I will just wear, um, Leo is my favorite color, so that's what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm not feeling Leo. We're gonna do like. All right, so I hope. Oh, sorry, my dog. He's right here. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this full face of Glossier products that I own. Um, I will now go through and rank the products. Um, I'll also put that in the, I'll also put it in the description just in case if you wanna read over it and where I'll talk about other products I've tried um, that I don't currently own as well. So first, 
future do yes love this 10 out of 10. the skin tint i'd say about a 8 out of 10 7 out of 10 really good i like it but again it's just something that is so sheer i love it but if i didn't have it okay, okay indy stretch concealer 10 out of 10. i love this mm, i love you love this we'll always have it Haloscope, love this i'd probably rate this about a 8 out of 10. really love it it doesn't move my makeup throughout the day it stays all day i feel like it doesn't make me look overly greasy really versatile natural love it let's see what else the wowder for i'd say for a powder this is a 10 out of 10. Works super good, doesn't make me look cakey, doesn't cling to dry patches when I do use powder. Um, love this. Again, only powder I own. Hi. Where, where's the next one, Indy? Where is it? Balm.com, I'd say about a seven out of 10. It's fine, I bet, I mean, Aquaphor works just as well, but doesn't come in as good of flavors and smells, that's for sure. Let's see, what's next, Indy? Oh. oh. Okay, the cloud paints. 10 out of 10. I love these. I love these. These are so great. I need more colors. They need to come out with more. Love them. Oh my gosh, my, my Generation G's, 10 out of 10. These are amazing. I have every single color. They're all wearable. They're all flattering. I love them. Okay, the lid star. Mm, I'd say this is like a five out of 10. Like it's fine, it's good. But again, I could only really make one color like work for me that I actually liked, which is Cub. And once this runs out, I'm not gonna repurchase it. Color slide, um, this is great. I'd say this is about a, you know, eight out of 10. I mean, it's great, but I mean, for the price, you could just go and get a nice like NYX liner, essence liner la girl colored liner that's gel that's going to do the exact same thing so i would not repurchase this all right and that is everything again check the description box for i'll have these same reviews um, and ratings as well as for other products that i've tried that i don't currently own anymore um also if you like this video please subscribe again i'd love to have you here i put out a new video at least once a week and i'm on instagram every single day so follow me there at erica's beauty corner and yeah i will see you next time i hope you have a great rest of your day see you in the next video bye